Welcome back guys, this is Lamin Sane of LS Web Apps and up until now we have used the find and the filter functions to do two different tasks, okay? So um, if, if you haven't watched those videos for the find and filter tutorials, I urge you to go ahead and just have a quick glance on them because um, you will need a basic understanding of how they work to be able to follow along in this video because we're going to contrast the two functions and see their differences, okay? So let's just use um, jQuery normal selector to select all these three paragraphs. So I'll go to the browser, refresh, just to clear out this console. So I'll say var paragraphs, we store it in the variable p equal to dollar sign. And we just pass in the element selector p and just press enter, okay? So now let's have a look at what's in p. And um, p has three paragraphs, which is this first, second, and third one, all right? So when we call, let's call find on this current selection, which is P. And let's find all the span tags there and see what we have, all right? So let's say var spans equals to P dot find. So I'll just rectify the correct um, spelling of find. So we'll say span. Basically we're saying all the paragraphs that we have selected, find every span tag in all of them and return it back. So now let's have a look at in what's in spans. As you can see, Every P tag that has a paragraph, we're returning the spans in that, okay? So as you can see, as I hover over, I have all these spans in this paragraph and this one. This one has no span, so there's nothing returned for it, all right? So that is find. Find goes down one level below in the children and select something there. All right, so how does that differ from filter? So let's just type in var filtered. And um, let's have a look at our HTML document. Now we see that these paragraphs um, two of them have classes, this one and this one, but this one does not have a class. Okay, so in our current selection, we have selected all the paragraphs and store them in the P variable. So now we can use the filter um, function to say, okay, so now just filter that list of paragraphs and only give me one which has a class of paragraph. And let's have a look at that now. Filter equal to P dot filter. And then we pass in a class to say, just give me the one with the class of paragraph. I'll rectify the spelling here. Okay, so I'll press enter. Let's see what's inside of filtered. Okay, as you can see, after I pressed enter and we've checked out the contents of filter, um, it's only the first paragraph. Okay, so now what's the difference between this filter um, function being called and this find here? So the main difference is that filter only works on the top level element. And what do I mean? So we have selected the P tags when we call filter, it will only worry about the elements themselves and not the children inside it. But for find, find goes one level down and tries to find whatever you've passed in as a parameter. In this case, when we've passed in span, it goes into each P tag and tries to find in that thing that we have told it to find. Whereas filter just says, okay, I'm going to worry about this. So whatever matches the top level um, currently selected elements, that's what I'm going to return back to you, okay? So that's the fundamental difference between find and filter, right? So if you have any questions about this, as usual, please do let me know on the forums on my website at lswebapps.com forward slash forums. And I thank you for watching. I will see you soon in another video. Cheers. Bye-bye.